It's your boy, Lieutenant Dan, here for another Falcons film breakdown. And we're going to break down the last game of Tack McKinley of the 2017 season. Uh, and I quickly wanted to explain something. I did not do a lot of Duke Riley. I did not do a lot of Demonte Casey. I didn't do a lot of Julio Jones and, and Devontae Freeman, Tevin Coleman, all that, because those are established players, uh, excluding Demonte Casey and, and Duke Riley, who just didn't really have a lot of productivity. So the more the Falcons put out more productive players, the more players I will cover that are in Falcons uniform. But let's go ahead and break down Tack McKinley and what he's doing here on this play. Uh, three plays that I want to break down. McKinley at the top of your screen right here. And McKinley's going to do uh, two things. Number one, engage the uh, tight end or tackle. Bust onto the inside and take down Jay Ajayi in the backfield for no gain. We're going to see him on the outside of the screen here. One, two, three, four, five. Tight end. They're going to run with this run package. They attack the Falcons with this run package a lot. So uh, you see across the line here, and they have uh, Jai in the backfield. And here's Tack McKinley on the outside. Watch him take this tight end and just uh, just whoop, hit him towards the inside. And, and you're, just, you're just not going to block Tack McKinley with a tight end. That's just 100% what's going on here. You're just not going to block him with a tight end. And then uh, gets this tack for loss. Edge setting 100%. Um, working for Tack McKinley in 2017, he has learned a lot better uh, to put that weight inside, uh, that shoulder down. He's used that as a huge weapon for himself uh, going into 2017. Now, guys, I want to go ahead and show you Tack McKinley down at the bottom of the screen. You're going to see him right here. And this is the, uh, the big Tack sack here. You're going to see him, uh, you're going to see him kind of get a, uh, a little push on this left tackle. Watch him get right in here. Bam, connects. Now, again, I, I've struggled with Tack McKinley and not having pass rush moves in this situation, but there's really not much he can do other than cut back into the inside or bull rush this left tackle, which he kind of does. But he gets a little help from the interior rush and the left guard kind of undercutting the left tackle here and gets this sack. Uh, thankfully, he doesn't get flagged for going low, but he does get injured on this play. Let's watch it from the other angle. You're going to see him on the left-hand side of the screen here. He's going to go against number 72. Adrian Claiborne has done a lot of this where he didn't cut back to the inside and give Tack McKinley a lane. Instead, of he, instead, he's cutting to the inside. You can see right here. And that bothers me a little bit. Claiborne goes down. The left guard goes down. The left tackle gets mixed up in that in that little hut, that little tussle right there. They all fall. He gets undercut. McKinley goes flying forward and gets this sack. It's disruptive. It's a, it's fun to watch. But again, what we could have seen during this play, instead of Adrian Claiborne and Tat McKinley not having that same communication and trying to both cut to the inside, you can see one's cutting to the inside, the other one's going to the outside there. You should have Adrian Claiborne trying to cut back towards the inside instead of going outside. McKinley getting an open lane to fight either way, either one, one way or another. And then instead of having this cluster of guys falling around like, you know, pins at a bowling alley, you'd have open lanes for them to work and manage. Uh, in this instance, it works out for Tack just being aggressive and going after it. Unfortunately, he gets hurt on the play. Um, he does come back a little bit later, um, and it doesn't turn out to be a serious injury, but it's still uh, a cluster of nonsense that should have been open lanes for these guys to attack. This is the last play that I wanted to show on this video, and it shows Tack McKinley trying to affect the passer and put a hand in the face. This shows just some maturity and some sprinkles of NFL quality work that he had not been doing in the collegiate level, not been doing at the beginning of the season, and towards the end of the season here, he started to get it done. So let's show that right here. You're going to see Tack at the bottom of the screen here. He's going to get some initial push on this tackle, engages, then decides instead of driving towards the inside or driving towards um, a bull rush, he goes straight to the outside, throws a hand up over. Uh, this does affect Nick Foles to throw to the outside and try to get the ball out a little bit faster. You're going to see him on the left-hand side of the screen here. And 
let's just watch this one more time. It's just a f trying to affect the quarterback in a way. Gets the initial push. Needs to get the hands out. Um, needs to make contact with the hands instead of trying to get right up on somebody and hug. He could have had so many different um, options going to the inside, cutting back to the outside, stunt move, um, head fake, things that he needs to learn as he goes. So what are my last thoughts on Tack McKinley as a player and, and what has he done in the 2017 season to make me believe he will make a jump in the 2018 season? Number one, his collegiate film showed a lack of production, getting to the quarterback, um, bad bend, not a lot of pass rush moves. Going into 2017 and each one of the tapes, it showed a little bit of improvement, whether it be from a pass rushing standpoint, uh, getting your hands out, using more hand fighting, better bend, using his body as a weapon, uh, relying somewhat less on some of the bull rush or speed rush and getting some of those moves in. 2018, I believe, is a technical year for Tack McKinley. If he watches this video and he agrees, um, or he watches this video and disagrees, um, or if you guys watch this video and agree or disagree, please hit me in the comments there. Like, subscribe, share, make sure you hit that notification bell. And remember that I am I'm out here for you guys making these videos. Uh, just to kind of give you a different point of view. Some of you will disagree. Some of you will agree. Uh, some of you will have different thoughts on McKinley. But let me know everything in the comments section of this video. My name is Lieutenant Dan. This was the Falcons film breakdown of Tap McKinley for 2017. And I hope to see you guys in 2018 for more Falcons film breakdowns. Peace, guys.